hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Delaney and today we are going to be doing a fridge and pantry organization. We're going to be taking everything out, cleaning everything up, and throwing away things that aren't good anymore and uh, stocking some stuff up like our hot cocoa and coffee bar ingredients. So very exciting for that as we are heading into the cozy season. I will link down below in the description what uh, organization tools I have purchased, all of which are from Amazon. I have already organized my pantry before and have purchased a bunch of Brightroom products from Target, so I will link some of those below as well. I just think they are so versatile in the different spaces of your home. So I just get the clear bins and they have different styles depending on what you're wanting to put in there. So you'll see some of those today as well, as well as some other baskets and everything else also purchased from Target. So I hope you enjoy this video and can get motivated and even if you are just sitting back relaxing while enjoying some coffee or if you're going to be cleaning and organizing with me, I hope you enjoy and we're going to get lots done today. Be sure to stick around for the end of this video. We're going to be doing a little... Uh, bake with me if you can even really call it that but we're going to be making some milk chocolate almond peppermint bark so time for all of the festive recipes and this only requires like five ingredients so it's going to be super easy and it's a really quick recipe especially if you are a full-time working mom and you barely have any time on your hands but you still want to enjoy the little things so let's go ahead and get started so i wanted to do a little before of the pantry before we get to work on it up here i've got my seasonal table runners and um, hand towels some baskets for storage, reusable bags, uh, party supplies, uh, lunch boxes, bins, and then over here we've got all of the baking items. We got some canned items, some canned pumpkin, our snacks. We've got some peanut butter breads, cereals all of the spices, which that is what we're going to be working on today also, is getting those all into their own jars and mounting the rack on the wall here. Got pasta, um, some hot cocoa and coffee. Down here we have our dog food items and um, some trash bags or poop bags. and bunch of other stuff and we're actually going to move the dog stuff into the garage to create a little bit more storage space in here and then this is the slot for paper towels which we're almost out some cleaning products my oh cedar mop and yeah so let's go ahead and get all of this taken out clean it up and then we'll uh, see where it takes us So I also wanted to share what we're working with today. So these are going to be the spice jars and the spice rack. Super excited about this. I got this off of Amazon. It was super reasonably priced. I will link it down below in the comments. And then we've got 
a bunch of nice labels. So these are actually going to go on the top of the jars. So there's literally like a list of 340 spice names. So I'm sure we won't have any issues finding what spices we need. Got another Target bin, um, some bins for the fridge that I got off of Amazon, a can rack to go in the pantry, and then some labels as well, bin labels to go in the pantry and possibly the fridge. I might have to get some more in order to finish that up. So whenever I clean out and organize my pantry or any space really, I like to take everything out and then wipe everything down to get rid of any crumbs, dust, hair, <laughs> anything else that tends to get built up. And then I'll clean out all the little bins and organizers that I use too because those also get dirty after some time. And then I like to just put everything in again and kind of just see what works. Um, here I already had an idea of what I wanted to go on each shelf and what I wanted to change up, but sometimes I don't really have an idea. I just know that, you know, it needs to be reorganized because what I have currently isn't working. Um, so sometimes it does take a lot of trial and error. So here I'm just taking out all of the spices and setting those on the counter. Super excited to do the spice rack today as well. And then, like I said, making sure everything is wiped down. Um, I absolutely love this can dispenser. Um, I used to have all of our cans just shoved back in the back of the cabinet and it, honestly it's really hard to see things. So I just like that I can see what we have, um, you know, that way I know how much pumpkin I have as we're uh, heading into cozy season and all the baking that we're going to do and especially with the soups as well. So um, here we're just continuing to take everything out, wipe everything down. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, baking items in the shelf above. And again, I'm just finding out what works best for me and for our family because, you know, what works for one person might not work for another. So, like I said, if you have lots of trial and error going on, that is okay. Just be patient and know that you can always change things up later too if what works right now doesn't work a little later. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. a spice rack um, in your pantry or wherever else in your kitchen that works best for you is that it clears up shelf space you know even though we are in a townhome technically and our storage is a lot better um, we still you know have limited space so clearing up that shelf space is crucial as you know our family grows and our needs grow so I love the way this turns out and I'll show you a little later. 
All right, so I got these little signs or uh, bin labels from Amazon. Um, they're just plastic black labels with a little slot on the back to put on the bin and came with a little white marker that you can write on and then you have the little plastic parts. So I just wrote one for baking, snacks, pasta and rice, breads, sauces and dressings, and then of course one for hot chocolate. I have a few extras I may or may not need, but I feel like it's always good to have some extras in case you change things around because as we know, what we feel like is organized in one moment will probably not feel organized to us you know, a little later, and it's okay to keep changing things up. Okay, so I wanted to share what I picked up for my coffee bar slash hot cocoa bar. I'm super excited. I am a coffee fanatic. I used to work at Starbucks for several years, so I am a former barista. But I got some syrups, so we have the classic hazelnut, peppermint, vanilla, salted caramel, pumpkin spice, already has the pump in it of course, and then I have three sauces, which I love because you can use these as the actual syrup or as just a topping. So lots of uh, uses for that, but we've got caramel dark chocolate and then pumpkin pie so excited for that and then got some candy canes some syrup pumps I got these cute little four ounce mason jars so I got a pack of four and my plan is to fill one of them with marshmallows one of them with chocolate chips one of them was crushed candy canes. I might not fill a fourth one, but if I do, I'll probably just put like a hot cocoa packet in it or something like that just to, you know, give it a little effect. But of course, picked up some peppermint hot chocolate, some sea salt caramel hot chocolate, and then got to have the classic milk chocolate Swiss Miss. So, we are all stocked up for the, the cozy coffee hot cocoa season. All right, and now it's time for the final reveal of the pantry. Down here we have our paper towels bin. We have our cleaning bin with trash bags and such. O cedar mop. Second shelf, we have reusable bags. Breast pump supplies, a bin for lunch boxes, and then we still have our little shelf for plastic bags and aluminum foil, saran wrap, all of that. Third shelf, we have the can dispenser, pasta and rice, sauces and dressings, hot chocolate, and fully stocked up on Starbucks Holiday Blend Coffee. Fourth shelf, we've got our snacks, breads, oats, and cereal. Up here, we are all stocked up with our baking supplies. So we're ready to make lots of recipes full of chocolate chips and walnuts and pecans. The top shelf, I love how this turned out. All I did is I went to Target and purchased three of these bins. I just like that they aren't showing <laughs> what's inside because I feel like that does make the space look a little more cluttered. So. I think it just brings the whole look together. 
and then we have the tea rack and then here is how the spice rack turned out it looks so good lots of room for growth here but really makes me want to bake and cook and experiment with bunches of different spices over here we still have all of our other cleaning supplies like our mop and our broom and then here is how our lovely recycling bin turned out and then of course we still have the trash can so the minor changes really go a long way and again I will link down below the uh, few items that I did purchase off of Amazon as well as try to link down what we got from Target. So moving on over to the fridge again I'm just going to start by taking everything out and wiping all the shelves down as I go. Um, I would love one day to be one of those people that has a fully stocked fridge that's color coded with all the bins and labels but right now that's just not very real realistic for us um, with you know only two of us really eating in this household we don't um, have that much food in our fridge at one time so you know I love watching all those restock videos and seeing what a uh, fully stocked fridge looks like but um, that's not really gonna happen over here but I do like to have the bins for what I do have to keep everything a little bit organized and it just and it helps me you know with the pantry too and the fridge having everything visible helps me when I go to the grocery store and when I am uh, meal planning for the next week. I just like everything to be out in the open and that way I'm not overbuying and I'm, you know, wasting less, which is always really important. Not this Christmas, we're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 Come on. dance. We're gonna dance, 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 have a good time, dance, dance, all night long. We're gonna dance, dance, and have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to do a final fridge reveal, fridge and freezer I should say. Down at the bottom we have, you know, a spot for our meats, salad or any vegetables that we might have, some bottled canned drinks, fruit, a spot for meal prep items, bins for cheese, yogurt, and then at the top of the shelves we like to keep our milks 
And over here we just have a spot for eggs, butter, more sauces and dressings, and then a whole shelf, of course, devoted to iced coffee and creamers. I didn't label the bins in the fridge because honestly, we don't, you know, since it's just my husband and I, um, we don't have, you know, tons of food all the time in the fridge. So this is actually pretty stocked for us. Um, so that's just what works for us. But again, find out what works better for you. And if labeling something, you know, works better or restocking and rinsing all the fruits and vegetables works for you, then definitely go ahead and do that. In the freezer up here, we got a spot for all of our ice cream, ice packs, spots for our frozen meat, breast milk, and then down there we just have our vegetables and again some more vegetables here on this side and all I did was I purchased some of these clear bins and it really just made more room for storage and helps everything stay on its own so that it's easier to see and get to. For today's super easy recipe, all you need is some cocoa powder, coconut oil, vanilla extract, some honey, sliced almonds, and crushed candy canes. And all you're going to do is make sure that you have a half a cup of melted coconut oil. Um, you want to melt that in like 10 to 15 second increments in the microwave. And then a third a cup of cocoa powder, some vanilla extract, I did about a tablespoon, and then three tablespoons of honey, and you're just going to mix that together super well. And then you're just going to line a baking sheet. I just used some wax paper, and then you're going to pour the chocolate out, and it'll just um, even itself out sprinkle some of the sliced almonds on there and then you're also going to sprinkle the crushed candy canes on there and you can totally switch up the toppings to whatever you would like. I just thought the almonds and the candy canes would be super festive. And then you're going to pop it into the fridge for about 30 minutes. You can also put it in the freezer as well. Um, you just want to make sure you give it enough time to set take it out and then you just break it up into pieces and that's actually going to be it for today's video thank you so much for joining me today be sure to like and subscribe and keep a lookout for next week's video which is going to kick off our christmas clean and decorate so i hope to see you all super soon thank you A place that I can come home to Yes, I am on my way We'll put